What's up, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Herping Lebanon. Uh, if you're a fan of wildlife and herpet fauna, you're in the right place, and if you're not, stick around anyway because I will change your mind. Uh, today, our trip took us to the very south of Lebanon, uh, to a very beautiful riverside, in which I did some night herping and found some amazing creatures. Uh, we also ended up rescuing a buzzard, that's bird of prey, uh, that fell a victim of illegal hunting. So please stick around and enjoy. So guys, we just flipped this log and check this out. Ta-da! First salamander for the season. It's October, so apparently they're out of their hidings. They're still skinny, of course, as you can see, but they are out, so we might find much more. This is a small one, not a newborn, but he's tiny compared to the adults we find. The Near Eastern Fire Salamander is the only species of fire salamanders in Lebanon. The, the other species from the Salamandridae family is the Southern Banded Newt. But they do not exist in this area, I guess. Uh, these guys feed on worms, slugs and other animals. Since the soil is wet and it's cool under this log, salamanders are hide using them as hidings. I have better luck usually of finding them under logs than under rocks. Uh, this is the first time I find a salamander during uh, this winter. You can check some previous videos for more salamanders, but this is a good start for the day. It's not a snake, but it's an amazing amphibian. I will take a few pictures of this one and let it go back where it was found. Let it go under the log. Slowpoke. Bye bye. And here, and here guys, it's a common Lebanon lizard, it's a very, it's like almost the most common species throughout the coastline along with the Stalagama. You can see it almost every trip, unless we're high in the mountains, they can't survive the cold. So here they are out now, uh, it shares habitat with uh, Stalagamas and snakes. Uh, colorbird snakes like uh, red whip snakes, uh, large whip snakes, and many others. If we found one, that means the area is very diverse and we might find more later on. And over there, you can see two river crabs, Potamon something, just staying there near the tiny waterfall. Uh, the water gets lots of food, of organic substances, and other stuff with it. So they just sit there and capture it on the rocks. Check this out guys, there is a huntsman spider with the daddy long legs. It just caught it in front of me. The daddy long legs are everywhere around here, check this out. That's one over there, right in front of us. And almost whatever I look, there is one, here is another one. And there are many more in the grass around me. And here guys we found a fan-fingered gecko, 11 fan-fingered gecko. They usually are active during the day, uh, in spring, and now they are nocturnal apparently. I found this aside with another Turkish gecko, but I couldn't catch the other one. So we'll take a sample from this one, some pictures and let it go. Uh, these guys are the largest gecko species in Lebanon. As you can see, their colors are gray, almost black sometimes with awesome sticky fingers, helps them climb on 
smooth surfaces and all that. So uh, I will let it go now. Another epic encounter for today is the variable toad, previously known as variable toad, buffed with the seed windows. Look how beautiful the coloration of this one is. It's almost shining. I think it's male from the colors of it. These guys are probably the most common toad species in Lebanon. They are spread in very different habitats with harsh conditions. They live in burrows underground and get active at night. Uh, that's when they hunt for arthropods and other invertebrates. Uh, I'll take a few still shots of this guy and let him go as well. And here guys, we found our first snake for tonight. It's a baby uh, Mediterranean cat snake, Telescopus phallax syriacus. Just wandering on this rocky wall. It's an unexpected encounter, but I'm very happy to see this is my second one in the wild. So it's pretty amazing. Look how calm it is. Uh, these guys are rear fanged, mildly venomous. They feed mainly on lizards and geckos. So it's not. Uh, surprising to find it wandering on these rocky walls that's where usually house geckos, Turkish geckos uh, and fan-fingered geckos are found so look how calm it is that's so cool and here for a better view Mediterranean cat snake guys this is a juvenile from last year probably look how pretty the, this baby is adults usually grow to like 50 centimeters or so we have two species of the genus telescopus here in lebanon the phallax syriacus like this one and the nigriceps the one with the black head uh, i will take pictures of this one now and let it go and of course the night is the best time for arachnids to be active and here we can see uh, uh, Mediterranean black tarantula Catapelma olivacum out in the open, it's a small one I think it's a female and it's out on the for the hunt it's 4 a.m. right now and oops it went back to the hole and there guys you can see a beautiful green Mediterranean chameleon chameleo chameleon sleeping on the branch over there above the river that's such a beautifully colored one I haven't seen such a green one in a long time I doubt I'll be able to reach him but I'll try to take some pictures from here and maybe in the morning I'll be able to reach him and take better pictures close-up pictures uh, that's quite a nice night herb for today uh, I will try to sleep a bit and in the morning we'll be searching for more animals and hope to see some interesting encounters as well. So guys, it's almost sunrise and I'm still looking around for more reptiles. Uh, we just found a sleeping chameleon, bunch of geckos, bunch of toads and a cat snake. But the most, oh, the easiest creatures to find are spiders right now because their eyes are reflecting light. So I've seen uh, tons of huntsman spiders, uh, wolf spiders, and some tarantulas. I'm, I will keep looking. There are also some orb weavers around in the trees and in grasses, and daddy long legs here and there. Uh, this is quite a successful night. I'm satisfied and I took some cool pictures and I'll keep looking uh, until the morning Maybe by sunrise we can see some diurnal species get being active as well Guys there is a weird bird of prey sitting here under the I think he, this guy is injured Well, we ended up with a rescue Not the most promising thing I will use my shirt now to catch him. Wish me luck. Let's see if we 
can pick him up. He's really in bad shape. Oh, Just... Here he is. Oh. oh, bloody eye. That's really bad. I'll take him to the camp and we'll see what to do with him. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below.